So it's a windy day today. This is gonna be a um video first time charging the plug-in hybrid Honda Tucson. So the gas is gonna be on the left driver side. That's the gas one. You have to press the button inside. So now this one is the EV side. Do you have to press the button too? Nope, this one just pops out. When it pops out, you take this off, and here's the connector. So, we are at the wrong pump. This one is for the dual side, for like the Mustang and stuff, for supercharging. This one doesn't have supercharging. So, hold on, we have to go to the right pump first. Okay, so we're gonna have to try that again. So, we came to another charge station over here at the campus. So, um, this is the charger that we need to use that matches this ping because it's not the supercharged ping so you have to use this one to um to charge it so what i did was i i skip, i um i wanted to make sure it worked because this is my first time so i did this process i downloaded the app for charge point i put all my information my card information and then what you do is once you get on the app it shows you the station then where it says available right here you just press um start charge and once you press start charge it's going to tell you to plug in so i already did that process so um i'm probably talking too fast but like i said yeah i came here i um downloaded the app put my card information tapped it like this so now this is unlocked so now this is unlocked it's telling me to plug in okay so now we're gonna plug in like i said this is my first time charging so you gotta bear with me so now you put it in here all right there we go one two three boom so now it's charging so this is the slow charger so i don't know how fast it's gonna charge it it is definitely not gonna be as fast as it is to charge the mustang the mustang takes about 30 minutes to go from like 0 to 80 like 30 minutes sometimes 25 yeah 25 to 30 minutes this one looks like it's only giving six is it am i reading it right it's only giving six or the mustang takes about 100 and something so yeah this is gonna take <laughs> this is gonna take a while but this doesn't have as big as a battery so i wish it could tell you how long it will take to charge we're gonna go look on the inside of the car. Probably it'll tell you how long it takes to charge from the inside. It definitely doesn't tell you right here. Let me see details. Nope, no details. Okay, let's go check inside. Okay, I think I seen something on the dash. Let's let's double check. Oh, yep, it does. Okay. So there you go. Wow, two hours and twenty. <laughs> Wowzer! Is it is it the charging station I'm at or? So um, let me do some quick Google research to see how fast um this thing can charge up to. Cause like I said, the Mustang Mach E is one hundred and something per hour. This one is only getting five. Now, is it the station I'm, I got I'm at right now that's only, only giving it five? Or is it the car that takes only five? So I don't know that information. So let me do a quick Google and I'll be right back with you. So upon further research, yes, it's going to take two hours. The maximum speed, is, it says seven. So I'm getting six and five between six and five so it does take two hours to charge the battery that's what the factory says from zero to 100 takes two hours this one's showing two hours and 20 minutes so yeah this so if you have this at your house it, it probably won't be a very inconvenience because if you have it at your house so every day you're charging up and you're getting 33 miles 33 free miles every day that you charge it up Every two, every, like, even if you charge it up, then you go back home and you charge it again. So you're getting miles every, so it's, it's definitely worth it. If you, if you have to go somewhere and charge it, I definitely wouldn't recommend it because that's just 
way out of the way just to charge your your car so this is definitely for someone who has the charging station at your house whereas the mustang you really don't need it i've been i've been charging the mustang outside and I, it's been fine but this one yeah you you're gonna need the um charge thing at your house it won't it won't make sense because for two hours what can you do that's not even a go that's not even you can't even go in a store and shop that's really that's a long time just to wait for 33 miles yeah, that's too long. That's very, that's way too long. At your house, that's fine. You know, overnight, you come back home. Even if you come back home, you're gonna go do something. You 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 stay home. You you charge it again. You go back out, and you could use the miles like that without even having to put gas in the car. But yeah, definitely not. Definitely not. If you don't have a charge at your house, even if you have a charge station close to you, it's still not even worth it because you. You you still wasting what you still wasting two hours just to sit and let it charge. Hopefully they do something to make it a little faster. I don't think it's a software. I think they have to just really come out with a whole new port or something because that like the other other charging port that we just came from. But yeah, um, so like I said, yeah, this is the first experience. Uh, we're not gonna drag this video. This is charging the two sound plug. Um. I'm gonna add this in the video because something I just figured out. This probably not even I didn't even notice. I never saw this online when I was looking up this car, but if you drive in sport mode, right? You see like that? Sport mode. You see the where the energy is going? It will charge the battery. The battery was completely dead, like all the way at the bottom, but now you see it's in the middle. So it's charging the battery the whole time if you drive in sport mode. And I'm doing safe distance and look at that I gained 9 miles it was at 0 <laughs> so let's see I'm going to drive this way all the way till I get home and I'm going to see how much miles I'm going to get so this is how you um, charge the battery while driving this is what I'm going to title the video charging the battery while driving as you can see the battery went up from when i started so um all you have to do is put it in sport mode and make sure this thing is giving the power back to the battery and it stays like around there in the middle of eco and charge now you can average i average doing 50 60 40 30 all while maintaining this this diagram right here where it shows the engine is giving the battery power and the wheel power you don't want to press too much because then you're going to see it's going to take away from the battery but when you let go of the gas you see it's regenerating so yeah this is how you do it you just maintain speed and it's going to charge the battery the battery was all the way at empty and it went all the way up so as you can see from this trip it will show you I got from 0 to 16 so far and on this trip I'm averaging 26 miles per gallon and I went 20 miles so yeah that's pretty cool that's a pretty cool feature for the um, plug-in if you if you don't have a plug-in at home and you don't want to waste ch time charging it and let's say you're going on a long trip or something you could just charge the battery and that's probably like a free free 30 extra miles you're gonna get yeah it's still doing it it's still charging the battery how much does the battery have now still 60. It's just a quick video i just wanted to show y'all because i didn't know it i don't know if, if if there's videos on it so i just wanted to make a quick video on it so i made it to my destination so i was driving in sport mode i made it 27 miles per gallon on average the whole trip and then i recharged the battery from zero to I think 
It was 17. Oh, it went down. But it was 17, but I was thinking. So it went from 16, 17. I got it up, and then I stopped because it was city driving. It was just slow. So it was just using the battery, even in sport mode. So, But I got it around 17. So we're just going to say it went up from 0 to 17 in 20 miles, averaging 27 miles per gallon in sport mode. That's pretty good. I could have averaged more, but I wasn't paying attention to the miles per gallon. But yeah. How to charge the battery while driving. If you don't want to wait or you don't have the plug at home, you can still charge your battery. Just going to take you a little bit of gas. But you get an extra, you're getting miles either way. So, all right, that's the video. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.